Hello, 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 and welcome to another thrilling, thrilling instalment of what, what we're we doing. Music go round. I'm old, I forget. And we're doing this one. We're doing The Who's Endless Wire. Endless Wire. I nearly said a, a rude version. Endless. That's not very good, is it? And this was released. Wait a minute, I've got to find it on the discography because I haven't got the Wikipedia page put up. Because I just read out all the stuff from the Wikipedia page because. You know, it's easy, isn't it? Who's better, who's better, who's best? Uh, wait a minute, I'll be there in a minute. Endless Wire, here we go, phew. Um, originally released 30th October 2006. I didn't get it then. I'd heard Wire and Glass and was uh, indifferent to it. But yeah, this is their 11th studio album, 30th October 2006. and. Was it their first album in something like 16 years or oh, I don't know? No, 20, 20. Hold it, I've got to take my shoes and socks off. 82, two, oh, that's more than 16, isn't it? That's I know this. Carry the one 24 years, blimey, makes Peter Gabriel look like a, like a, a positive hair to their tortoise. Um, yeah, it's a concept album. Uh, Parts of it are a concept album, uh, but it's then there is a rock musical. I've got to read the Wikipedia page because it it didn't it didn't really kind of do anything for me. I think again, it's isn't it based on Lifehouse? Isn't there some stuff here from Lifehouse in there? Um, but yeah, there's a there's a there's a thing in it which. I didn't like it. It didn't do anything for me. However, however, he said, there is a there is a song, and I've got a, there is a song in all of this, and I don't think it's part of the the endless wire thing. See, you've got Mike Post thing, which is a reference to the composer Mike Post, who did. Um, a lot of TV themes back in the day, you know, A-Team, duh, 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 Quantum Leap, dun, 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 dun. everybody loves Mike Post, it's not a bad song, I'm looking at it now, I kind of enjoyed it, I mean the songs on here are better than It's Hard, I'll give it that, I'll give it that, but it didn't really, you know, do anything, real uh, good looking boy, wasn't that a tribute to um, Ain't Whistle? Wasn't it? Wasn't real, real looking, good looking boy a uh, thing? I'm sure. I'm sure it was. Feels like it should have been. <laughs> I'm just making this up. I have no idea. Have I even listened to this record? Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh, this. I should have took a run up. I should have took a run up at this. So this is why people don't watch my videos because I'm totally unprofessional. Um, however, I'm going to wax lyrical. I'm going to wax lyrical at one of the songs. There is one song on this record that I absolutely adore. I absolutely think is marvellous. I think it is worth buying the record purely for this song. It is a song of, of beauty, fragility. Uh, it's just, it's probably one of the best um, songs that Townsend has done. And it's only 2 minutes 50 seconds long. It's it's brief, it's, t t it's to the point. It doesn't it stay its welcome, and I just, I, I heard it. I just thought this is what this is a wonderful song, and it's called "God Speaks of Marty Robbins." Marty Robbins is a well, he was a kind of country and western singer, I guess, and this is Townsend doing this. Just, a, I think it's just a marvelous song, and the, I mean, it's going to get the, the album. It's going to get the out. It's going to bump the rating up with this album. This song alone. Um, so yeah, if you don't care for this record real good looking boy was all right i suppose but it's bogged down by the by the the wire and glass mini opera you know i think you know you don't really do you really need it i don't think you do um and that's a side c and side d and again it's about you know like the internet and music industry and whatnot and it's you know, yeah 
but yeah, the um, the songs. I look, I'm, I'm 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 actually revising my. I'm looking at the album again. I'm I'm revising my review as I go along here because, you know, I was like I say ambivalent to the rock opera, opera wire and glass bit, but some of the tracks on side A and B are not are all rightish. Again, it turns in solo material. They're all rightish. I don't think they're particularly big Who songs. But God Speaks of Marty Robbins. Actually, it's I've, I've read it wrong. It's actually 3 minutes 26. I've got that wrong. It's my eyesight. Um, that one. And Mike Post theme, I thought, was good fun as well. Um, that's that's what you're coming for. So anyway, let's, do the, let's do the... Let's look at the record, because that'll waste some time. That's what we need to do. Oh, it's luminous pink, everyone. Look at that. Look at that. You get your money's worth. Look, whoa, you, can read, you can sing along. If you can read it. God, I, can't, I can't read it. Oh, my eyesight. Oh, God. Yeah. And when the world began, I'd been asleep forever. I opened my eyes. It was then it was I. Got the whole whim to wake. And when the weight of space... Rode like it was an, like an ocean. One became one, father and son. Watched the sunrise break, and as the ocean warmed, and from the dream we woke, one sang a great de- one sang to greet the dawn. One pursed his lips and spoke. Wake up and hear the music. Wake up and hear the music play. Wake up and hear the music. Wake up and hear what the people say. I heard the heavens sing. Predicted Martin, Marty Robbins. I knew I'd find music and time were in perfect plan. Were a perfect plan. I watched my son sail on a little ship a bobbing. I had to grow. I needed to know exactly who I am. And as the ocean warmed from its dream, we woke. One song to greet the dawn. One pursed his lips and spoke. Wake up and hear the music. Wake up and hear the music play. Wake up and hear the music. Wake up and hear the music. What the people say. And that's the song. And I really like it. <laughs> Maybe I'm soppy old git. But yeah, this is this is your standard black vinyl. I've got to ruin it. Let's see, black. None more black. I'm going to put that away now. So yeah, I mean, it's not a great record. It's not a great record, but that song is good. Maybe I'm a bit unfair. Maybe in a few years' time, when I've um, you know I've got it again, it'll be better. But um, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, in terms of rating, oh man, this gets um, this gets or oh, st- this gets four. Four. God speaks of Marty Robbins out of five. It's four. God speaks of Marty Robbins out of five, and it's that song that gets the four points. <laughs> that song alone, because I think it's really good. I really like it, and you'll like it too. I guarantee. So yeah, go on to your favourite um, streamer, rather than spending the money on the whole record, and, and listen to that song. Because I think you'd agree. It was worth it. It was worth the penny. So anyway, I've been talking about the Who's Endless Wire. It ain't perfect. It's a shame, I don't know, maybe if they'd have released the album and then released the... Split it. Cause it's a double record. Maybe if they'd have released it separately, it might have worked. It's a, it's a concept album. Rock opera, rock musical. I don't know what you want to call it. Mu- opera, musical. I don't know. With an album tacked onto it. Eh. And that's, that's just a... And not a good way of releasing the piece of art. That's just, uh, it's a mess. It's messy, and uh, and I think that's that's my main problem. Is it's un, it's a bit of an unfocused mess. Of course, I might be wrong, because it's only my opinion. And there is there is a place below me, just down there. It's like just around my genital area. Is the comment box, and I need you. I need you to come and play in my comment box. For engagement is what feeds the algorithm we call YouTube. It's, it's, a, it's a terrible mistress. And I need you to engage with the comment box or the thumbs up or down. I don't bloody know. Just watch the video. That's it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this is all about anymore. Do you? Uh, don't subscribe. Don't subscribe. That's not good. Anyway, thank you for watching. I've been talking about Endless Wire by The Who. 
I've said enough. I've burbled on. I've nearly made it last 10 minutes, and that wasn't my intention. I just, you know, and, I, and some people say this is a terrible review. It says nothing about the music. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm just here to entertain. For you to mock me. He's rubbish. He's any shit. What a load of shit. Oh, yeah, you know, I am. I'm kind of proud of that. But um, but trust me, it starts off interesting with that first album. You know, the first the first album, first record of the album. Because I'm going to call it. There's two albums in one. It's that's what it is. That first album kind of gets you going, and then you have got this bloody mini opera, mini opera. See, mini opera. It could. That's what they call it. Wire and glass, a mini opera. They couldn't even be bothered to finish it. And you have got an extended version of two tracks on the on the record. At the end there, endless wire, and we got a hit. With bonus tracks that are extended, and you—that's just filler, isn't it? It's filler. But God speaks of Marty Robbins. Go and listen to it now. That's an order, and on that, there's only one more thing left to say, and that is, ta-da.